I think after all the shit that's gone down in the last 10 episodes or so now, I think it's about time we have a Magic Knights Captain Conference and just share some information and regather as a group, which I'm excited for this episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 38, the Magic Knights Captain Conference. I'm excited. Like I said, I'm assuming this is going to be the ending of, well, I'm assuming this is obviously going to be a longer arc, but the ending of this little climax, start to get back, you know, gather back up, set up some more stuff, introduce some more characters, the next plan maybe, and then we get right back into the goodness, which, you know, I'm never one to hate on these kind of episodes. Anything that gives me lore, information, character development is, all, is an A-plus episode to me, so I'm all here here for it i am very excited especially because the new opening should be coming up relatively soon which as you guys know will give you the free full length over here on patreon so i, sh I think that's going to be next episode for that so make sure to look out for that but without any further ado i say we hop into this so if you guys are not sub to the patreon but you want early access full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon make sure to check that out if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just give me a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with the youtube algorithm if you guys are currently not subscribed please subscribe join the dapper squad hit that bell so you guys always know when i post and then follow me on all my social medias twitch instagram and twitter at dapper darius i appreciate you guys let's hop into this black clover episode 38 the Magic Knights Captain Conference. It's kind of a long one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he really is relaxed there. Understandably, <laughs> how much work you went in with the whole key, with the whole fight, with everything. Damn, yeah, they saw the aftermath, but... Well, we appreciate that, Mimosa. Thank you so much. Always, always. <laughs> to think where Klaus started, man. It's my boy. Good. Especially at the church. That, yeah, that'd be perfect for him. Turn him into a good man. You know, I respect you, my guy. I love you, but you do not know how strong these guys were. <laughs> Bro, you can't get better than that. <laughs> You can't get better than that. Good, let's go see the Crimson She Leopard. They're just back to the way they were. Hey, this is their relationship, though. Jesus. Very nice. Come on. Ghosh is changing by the minute. He's still a sister complex punk with a criminal record, but he's a he's a decent dude. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Where would that be? Oh, Rebecca's good ass cooking. She did say she wanted to do as much as she could for Asa by that one for when he got back. She's a real one. <laughs> Noelle's like, damn, she can cook. Imagine Noelle starts chefing up with her magic. Appreciate you, Marco. They both, they both are finding the goodness in each other and like why Asta might like each other, you know? <laughs> you know, that was literally me. I like that. I like that. That's proactiveness right there, Rebecca. You, you take your first steps. It's so obvious to the girls how much they like Asta, but Asta's still so oblivious. Yeah, 
I don't think anyone's beaten Charmy. God damn, did I miss Vanessa. And luck. Ooh, Asta's Munchin. Like I said, I don't think anyone's beaten Charmy, but that'd be me. I'd just be casually eating it. And yeah, it's a tato pie, so they said it's so dry. <laughs> Completely off topic, but anyone who's seen Breaking Bad, if you guys remember that conversation between Badger and fuck, I forget, uh, Skinny Pete, whatever his name was, when they were like, imagine a Star Trek if Spock, if they were having a pie eating contest and he was just beaming the pies out of Spock's stomach. Like, I don't know why that made me remind me of that, bro. Like, that's just hilarious. He's literally. <laughs> He's using a spatial magic to put him in his stomach. My money's on Charmy. Who you guys got? I mean, anime main characters. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is probably going to be the invitation to the captain's conference or whatever. That was hilarious. Charmy said, you still got a lot to learn, kid. I love seeing my main man, Julius, so I'm down. Yep. Oh, shit's about to go down. It'll all depend on Asta? What kind of plan does he have where he's putting this much faith in our main man? What the heck? Yeah, I would like to get a formal introduction. Advisor, Marks. Francois. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing most likely Catherine and the other guy of the Eye of the Midnight Sun. Oh, but Asa can cut through that spell. I thought it would be way more of a complex plan than that. Okay, that's a fair enough. I, I would be like, let's try it. No one's ever heard of anti-magic, you know? And I like how they're letting Asta in on the plan as well. Rather than use him, you know, without telling him. Him not being in the know. See? And now that he knows, he's definitely determined. My boy. I know. I feel the same way. My eyes be glistening. I'm like, it's great to see you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, tell me. He is a magic nerd. I love that. Copy magic. Yeah, it was badass. You've never heard of that? Oh, it has to be dope. And then another spirit user. Yeah. <laughs> his, his so, he has, his fucking fit is so wavy. He has so much drip. <laughs> I love that. Dink, dink. Memory exchange magic. Memoir absolute. From their true memories. That's such strong magic. Yeah, that is such strong magic. Yeah, and it puts them under like a, a compulsive trance, so they have to go along with it. Oh. Well, Dre Poisa. She's always sleeping. How? Hmm. The foreigner and former peasant. Wow. Yeah, I do miss my boy Fuegolian. It did. <laughs> At least Yami's taking it jokingly. Yeah. 
We haven't seen William in a long time. Or should I say, licked. Oh, is it? He did have a lot of Golden Dawn getting some stars and new titles and new ranks. Dang, yep. Asa's in front of all the captains directly. Is that boss? He's actually nervous. <laughs> Of course, William was the last one they show. Okay, I'm just glad I'm watching another episode because I was about to be heated. I was, I was about to be mad. Well, that went about the way I assumed. It actually started like I assumed it was going to be like that part of the roller coaster where we're going like this, you know, and then we sort of like bounce, end it right there, start just picking up again. But we're picking up right now pretty quick with the way we're ending off. Hey, there's a traitor amongst you. It cuts to everyone. Like, who could it be? Like, this is like a. It very much reminds me of like a John Carpenter's a thing, just like all panic could ensue, you know, lots of, especially because there's no one really here who really likes each other. Like at the very least, it's somewhat banter between coworkers who are com competing between each other, but at the worst, it's it's people who really don't like each other. So it's like, I think Fuegolian, I think they said that Fuegolian, they were right. He does tie it together very nicely because he's a very righteous, by the books kind of guy who's like no let's let's just stop talking shit let's just get this shit done guys so okay so ma'am and that sucks that they went for fweggy first <laughs> calling him fweggy is hilarious but i am so curious to find out who the traitor is in the next episode i love how asa just gave him the quick little bump to knock off that thing and then marks was able to use his magic which kind of puts them in a trance makes them answer and then it just kind of reminds me no spoilers for hunter hunter but there's a, a character in there with a similar power and it's just like very similar just like there's nothing you could really do about it i mean there's no like i mean someone could probably have protection in that too but just no one had to happen to have protection so it's just like when that power is used on you you just your pure purest memories are just inside your you know nothing you have control over they're able to just get in there see them it's crazy and that that kind of power for interrogations is very scary like you got to think uh, like in my opinion the util the utility powers in this show are so unique because they're so scary but they're so like the non-combative i mean like like spatial magic is so op yet you know you, it's very hard to do it with combat you know um interrogation magic very op but you can't really do it in the middle of a fight so it's just like it, it has a good balance you know so i love how certain members of government slash royalty not royalty government slash higher ups are needed to have not needed but you know they have they're, they're in these certain roles because of their specialities is what i'm trying to say like marx even though he's an advisor it's super super handy that he has this power i'm sure they have like a naruto like an interrogation unit i'm sure they have like a um a unit that specializes in rescues and disasters and stuff like that um, they have a unit that specializes in criminals, like the combative types. You know, it's like the Third Eye. They have a, a combat area. They have they have their Valtos for spatial. They have, they have you know, it's just crazy the uniqueness of the powers. I like it a lot. But I'm about to hop into this next episode. So remember, if you guys want early access, full we'll link to this episode next. Ep you know what I'm trying to say? Check out that Patreon down below. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know your comments down below and then follow me on all my social medias let's hop on this next one i'll see you guys there